So now that you've seen what HDF5 can be used for, we're going to walk through how to create a new HDF5 file and then use it to store NumPy data. This introduces one of the most important building blocks in HDF5, which is a data set. Data sets are the on-disk analog of a NumPy array. Just like NumPy arrays, they consist of a rectangular collection of homogeneous data, which can be multidimensional, and are described by two pieces of information, the shape, or in HDF5 terms, the data space, and the type, describing the type of information stored in the array, integer, floating point, compound, Boolean, and so on. An HDF5 data space is a mechanism that HDF5 uses to describe the shape of an array. Using the Python H5Py package, data space information is exposed using a NumPy style shape tuple. In other words, this example data set here is three-dimensional and has dimensions 5 by 10 by 7 and is represented on the Python side by a shape tuple containing the numbers 5, 10, and 7. Just like a NumPy array, every element of an HDF5 data set has the same type. The HDF5 data type is specified when the data set is created. It can't be changed and can be selected from a rich variety of types, including integer, floating point, string, Boolean, and many more. For example, this data set has a type of 32-bit integer, or NumPy in 32. Like a NumPy array, this is available as the attribute dataset.dtype. Let's talk about the programming model behind HDF5. It's very straightforward. First, we import H5Py, which gives us access to the HDF5 library. Then, we create or open a file. Once the file is open, we can create or open objects within the file, like data sets that we use to store information. We perform whatever operations we want, meaning reading data, writing data, setting attributes, deleting objects. And finally, just like a regular Python file, our file must be closed. Let's walk through an example. In this example, we're going to use the create data set method on the file object to create a new data set of a given data type and shape. First, we import h5py. Then, we create a new file, giving it the name file5.hdf5. Once the file is open, we use the create data set method on the file object to make a new data set. We provide three things. The first is a name. The second is a NumPy style shape tuple, in this case 10 by 10, creating a two-dimensional data set. And finally, we supply the data type, in this case, single precision floating point. Once we've created the data set, we can store information using the familiar NumPy indexing syntax. In this case, we choose to store the value 2.0 in the very first element of our two-dimensional data set. Once we're finished, we close the file. Having created the file, let's take a look inside it and see if we can recover our data. Again, we import h5py. Then we open the file by providing the same name we provided last time. We can retrieve the data set we created by providing its name. Once loaded, we can verify the data set has the shape and type we expect. In this case, 10 by 10, with a type of float32. And we can read data from the data set, in this case, to retrieve that first element and verify that it has the value we expect. When finished, we close the file. Now that we've created the file and verified that we can read the contents, we should discuss a very important tool in the HDF5 world. The tool is called HDFU. HDFU is a graphical application for investigating the contents of HDF5 files. It's provided by the HDF group and is a free download. Let's examine the file we just created using HDFView. From the main HDFView interface, we can open the file, file5.hdf5. When we do so, a schematic of the file appears in the left-hand pane. We see the file, and in the tree display, we see all the objects that it contains. In this case, only one, the data set we created. Double-clicking on My Dataset will display the data in HDFView. We can see that most of the entries have the default value 0, except for the first element, which is the value that we wrote. If we right-click on My Dataset and do Show Properties, we can see 
under data space and data type, that HDF5 recognizes this as a two-dimensional array with dimension sizes 10 by 10, and the HDF5 data type a 32-bit floating point. HDF view can be a very useful tool to investigate files that you've created or that you've received from other people. When you receive a file, you can simply open it in HDF view, view the data, see the file structure, or you can even plot the data. In this case, we can do a line plot and see all the values in the row. When finished, you go to File and close the file. To recap, HDF5 datasets are a very flexible way to store data on disk using the same interface as a NumPy array. They can be easily packaged up and shared with others without having to worry about communicating shape or type information. And using HDFU, you can very easily investigate the contents of a file and even see the contents of each individual dataset.